We're here with the Warrior of the Week from Monday, November 21st, 2011, senior Alex Murbach of the Warriors men's basketball team. Last week, Alex, you averaged 24 points and 8 rebounds per game as your team went 1-1 one one in its opening week of the season. Can you take us through that week, Alex? A nice opening victory over Silver Lake last Tuesday, and then you went down the Lawrence, fought hard, but you guys came out on the, the short end by 8 points. Yeah, we uh, opened up against Silver Lake, got off to a slow start. Uh, first, I don't know if it was the first game jitters or just not used to everything yet, but slow start, trailed by two at halftime, and then we came out with a second half and had a strong effort, uh, really kind of clicked the way we wanted to. Tried to carry that into Appleton against Lawrence on Friday night, but uh, they went on a couple different runs, two different 9-0 runs to open and close the first half, and uh, it's hard to play catch-up, especially when you're away against a pretty quality team like Lawrence. So We fought back and battled, so that was good to see. Uh, and I think we made a few steps in the right direction, but we definitely found some areas that we want to work on to improve as we go forward. You had game highs, uh, both games. Uh, Tuesday's game, you had 20 points, and then uh, Friday night at Lawrence, you poured in 28. Um, what was the key to that? Is it um, the, the teammates helping you out there, but what would you contribute your, your success to uh, down in the paint? Well, uh, honestly, it's a lot to do with just good passes and finding me when I'm open. Uh, we really started to play as a team and a lot of guys are getting penetration and then just setting the ball in my lap and all I have to do is lay it in. So uh, a lot of different guys are playing well in that area. Um, this year it's nice having a guy like Nate Bauer who transferred in and he's just, he's, no one is happier that he's here than I am. So uh, it's great to have guys like that who are you know always willing to give it up for the open shot. and. They've been, some of them have been following for me so far. So, Talk about the experience uh, gained of last year's team. Everyone pretty much back for this year. Uh, how, how valuable was that for everyone, and how much uh, will that help you guys out this year? Well, it, I mean, it's always great when you can bring back all but uh, one or two guys. So we have that experience. You know, we've been through a lot of tough times last year, and Everything that we wanted to do going forward into this season was to build off of that and not revert to our old ways of last year. Anytime you have a rough season like that, you always are going to have that motivation to work a little bit harder in the preseason. Uh, when you're having a slow, sluggish practice, all it takes is someone to say, hey, you know, we don't want to revert to last year. We, don't, we want to move on from it, but there's always going to be in the back of your mind that you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have anything like that happen again. So it's been... It was a bad experience to go through, but in the end, I think it should help uh, help us grow as a team and be able to fight back and fight a little harder this year. The next two weeks, the team has some very challenging teams on the schedule, uh, beginning with three WEAC opponents this week, and then starting conference play next Tuesday against Concordia, Wisconsin, and then going up against the number two team in the country in Augustana down in St. Louis next weekend. Um, what are the keys to this, this stretch of games? Um, and how do you guys feel that uh, you can improve by playing such stiff competition? Yeah, I mean, stiff competition is a good word for it. Uh, while they are, you know, traditionally all very good programs, I think that, you know, we really have nothing to lose by it. You know, maybe we won't, there's a possibility we won't come on top on a few of those games, but, you know, we're going to get better and stronger by facing those teams. So then once we get into conference play, hopefully that'll all have paid off by then. Uh, I still think that we do have a good shot at knocking off a couple of those teams and uh, everything is just going to be, you know, if we can run our stuff against those teams and we can uh, defensively disrupt some of the things they're trying to do, I think that's definitely going to help once we get into conference play and get deeper into the season. All right, again, we're here with the Warrior of the Week from Monday, November 21st, senior Alex Murbach of the Warriors men's basketball team who averaged 24 points and 8 rebounds last week for the Warriors. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.